This is a Modesto ash. It's a fairly common tree in our area. And it is a tree that is recognized as having some problems. Defects are common. They do break out as clearly indicated by this big split up here. It's also a tree that is highly susceptible to anthracnose. If you look closely here, you can see some of the leaves that uh, had a lot of the anthracnose. And the new ones come out, usually what happens is in the springtime, the first leaves that come out all burn just like this. And then they'll produce some new leaves that seem to be a little bit better. Uh, I was asked to identify any hazards on this tree and it was very easy to see that the main crotch right here had a limb removed a long time ago. It may have split. The crack in here tells me that it probably split and came out and they cut it close at one time and it's grown up and around it. Uh, this is interesting. This is not ash foliage. This is from, you know, it looks like a privet tree that is growing down in the decay of this weakness here. You can also clearly see there's a, a, a structural defect that will be happening here. So what I project in this tree is it's going to open up like a big artichoke. Now the, the client is very concerned because it's causing considerable damage to their, their driveway and they want to replace the driveway and they don't want it to keep happening. So it's kind of a catch-22 because, you know, aesthetically it's a beautiful tree. And had these people said to me, you know, I love my tree, I want to save it at all cost, I would make recommendations to do significant weight reduction to minimize the strain on this weakness and probably put a grouping of cables up in the top of the tree, get it away from the building. Uh, it could clearly be saved. But because they're looking for a permit to remove this tree, it's very easy to show that it's got a lot of problems. You know, it's got a bit of dieback up in there. So they're asking me for a report, which I can clearly do. And eventually this tree is going to succumb to this internal decay. But it's all about values, how people see a tree and how people uh, react to a tree. Now on this busy corner right here, with all the traffic that comes flying along, this tree gives a little bit of, you know, I don't know if privacy is the right word, but a little bit of separation from the road. And uh, clearly the, the people don't see that as being valuable, but they want to stop the problem. So I'm gonna write them a report indicating that this tree is dangerous, which it is. But, um, I don't know, sometimes people can't see the forest for the trees. Pun intended. Now, in walking around the trunk of the tree, if you look at the unions of the limbs, you can clearly see where the potential for splitting is going to occur. Now, step back and look at that a little bit better. Walk over to this side and you can see where it has split and grown around and split and grown around so the weakness is quite evident on this trunk all the way down it's kind of interesting the two limbs pushing on each other up there so this tree will be removed It's just kind of sad.